How are we doing, Sunderlands? All right, good stuff. Excellent, good to see you here. This is the start of the freshers run from me. Now, every night for 17 nights solid, I'm going to be doing gigs like this, but you get the best of it because it's the first night of freshers. So, we're really good. We're up for laugh. All right, good stuff. Now, just out of interest, in case you haven't recognised me already, my name is Robert Temple. I am going to be your hypnotist for tonight. Come on, ladies, I might not be Robbie Williams, but use your imagination. I said, my name is Robert Temple. I am going to be your hypnotist for tonight. We have got to do a show for you, and what a hell of a show it's going to be as well. Now, in case you haven't sussed by now, tonight's show is all about you guys. Tonight is an audience participation event. You see, without audience participation, tonight will be the single shortest show that you will never, ever get to see. But with just a little bit of audience participation, then tonight will turn into a hilarious demonstration of people just like you, under the influence of hypnosis and under the power of the mind. That means that tonight we are going to be looking for volunteers from the audience to join me on stage here tonight and be hypnotised to become the stars of tonight's show. So, this is your chance to be the star of tonight's show. This is your chance to be the one that everyone's talking about for the rest of the night, possibly for even weeks and months after my show. This is the chance to be the one that everyone's buying the drinks for at the end of the night. This is your chance to become the stars of tonight's show. If you'd like to be hypnotised, mesmerised, circum... Stance is permitting. The best thing you can do is to stand up, move your legs, your body, or follow, make you on stage, and enter my hypnotic world. Let's get some volunteers. Okay, as you've just seen, it takes a tremendous amount of courage to come on stage with a hypnotist one that looks like me. These people all done exactly that. Give them a nice big round of applause. Thank you for it. Guys and girls on stage, you soak up that applause because you're going to miss most of it for the rest of the night. Let me tell you, okay? One very simple thing. Over the next five to ten minutes, you're going to see some pretty weird stuff. These people are going to be dropping into trance, and I am one of the fastest hypnoti hypnotists on the planet today. And what I do, there are only three other hypnotists in the world who are both trained and licensed to do it. But you're going to see it right here at North Point tonight. Now, with that in mind, I do ask you to be as quiet as possible just for the next five or ten minutes while we hypnotise these people. Just imagine that you were trying to get to sleep on a night time, you want people to be nice and quiet for you. It's exactly the same for these people. Remember, hypnosis is a perfectly natural state of mind that every single one of you goes into and out of twice a day. Once when you wake up in the morning, and once on the night time when you go to bed. That slightly drowsy state, that's all hypnosis is. Three, put your hand out in front of you. You can have an imaginary drink. There's one for you. 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 Drink that drink down. There's a drink for you. Blow it all over your face. That's good. There's a drink for you. Now, this is the single scariest film you have ever ever seen. You are going to start to shiver.
possibly are amongst you, please do not tell them what they've been doing. Uh, because it will cause them a massive edit, it's not funny, alright? So just don't tell them what they've been doing and don't try and wait for them, just go with it, alright? Because they think it's real and just go with it. So, with that in mind, this gentleman here, when you wake up in the next few moments time, just the gentleman I'm touching on the shoulder, when you make your way around the audience, you will believe that you are not uh, Matt or whoever you are. You will believe you are in fact actually Harrison the homosexual hot dog seller. Now basically your job is at baseball concerts in the States to go yourself around and to sell your hot dogs. We have a big high pitched squeaky cap gay voice and you'll try to sell your hot dogs to as many people as possible. They will not buy them. But you'll try to sell them for a fiver, nod your head if you understand. Lovely, you'll wake up, you'll have your hot dog on your lap, you'll go around and try and sell it. That's lovely. This lady here, when you wake up in the next few moments time, you will believe that you are the long lost relative of everybody here in the audience tonight. The problem is you can't remember any of their names and you don't want to be rude and just ask them. So you've got to try and be as subtle as you possibly can and try and get them to tell you their name. If you're not allowed to ask them, you've got to be as subtle as you possibly can. Nod your head if you understand. You'll make your way around as many people in the audience as you possibly can. This lady, this, this lady here, when you wake up in the next few moments time, you will believe that you are the world's biggest gossip. And you'll believe that you know a piece of dirty sexual gossip about everyone else here in the room tonight. You will go up to everyone that you possibly can, you'll say, hey, you see that guy over there, he enjoys, and you'll tell them their dirty sexual secrets. If you know any dirty sexual secrets about anyone for real, you will not share those, only the ones you've made up. Nod your heads if you understand. Lovely. This gentleman here, sleep. When you wake up in the next few moments time, you'll make your way around the audience, you'll believe you are the world's best award-winning paparazzi photographer. You'll believe that everyone here in the audience tonight is a celebrity and you will get paid a packet if you can find some compromising photographs. You will not touch anyone or do anything you shouldn't be doing, but you'll try and get as many photographs with your invisible camera as you possibly can. It's a deal. Go for it. Come get me. Did you like such close mate? We're related. His his mum is my no um no my mum is his mum's cousin. Yeah yeah. yeah. You we're, doing, we're doing the wedding video for Brenton and David. Who's you, Brenton David? You know your best mate. Well, you've lived with him all your life. They're your roommates. Oh. Well, I wish them good luck. I do. You're disgraced, Kate. David's related to your dad's brother. No, he's not. I'm related to your mum. I know. Yeah. I don't know David. Last time I saw you, you were only about this big. What? It's Harrison. I'm I've right. sold the hot dog for a fiver and it's brilliant. It's fucking it's made me nice. I'm going on a night on the tiles, mate. Not on the tiles. I'm shiny. I'm shiny, aren't I? Look, somebody gave me. Yeah, they did. I sold it. Fucking me, mate. Would you like to tell your success stories and inspire and tell all other hot dog salesmen? Just follow me. Follow me. Look. Follow me. Oh, it works. I've just sent. Father. Thank you very much. It's nice to meet you, kids. <laughs>